Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about one of the most unusual planets in our solar system that you see right there behind me. This is Uranus and some people think that it's a relatively boring planet. On the other hand, some people, or some scientists specifically, think that this is actually one of the most unique, most fascinating and most unusual planets in our solar system. And there are definitely quite a lot of reasons for why they think so. So for one, even though it seems kind of featureless and doesn't seem to have much happening on the surface, this is because it's actually only invisible light. If you were to look at it in the infrared, you would actually see something completely different. Specifically, you would see something like this. You would see a very unusual looking planet with a very sort of minor but still visible ring around it. But that's not really what we're talking about today. What we are going to be talking about is why this unusual planet also has a very unique way of spinning around um, compared to other planets in our solar system. In other words, why is it that Uranus has such an unusual rotation around its orbit? Because actually, if you were to compare it to other planets, it seems to be rotating completely on the side. Now, we briefly actually talked about this phenomenon in one of the previous videos from many years ago, but today we're going to talk about a new study that actually used a very realistic and very accurate simulation to actually finally answer this question once and for all. So let's talk about why Uranus seems to be spinning on the side. Now, first of all, what we know about Uranus is actually um, already quite extreme. For one, we know that its magnetic field doesn't seem to correspond to its rotation um, almost at all. The magnetic field right here is about 59 degrees away from the uh, spin of rotation. And that already shows us that this is actually a really, really strange planet. On the other hand, we also know that um, its composition on the inside is quite different. And it actually seems to even have what's known as diamond rain, essentially diamond-like particles raining down in the atmosphere. On the other hand, it's the only planet that doesn't seem to actually generate any heat on the inside and uh, is basically the coldest planet there is. But all of this for the longest time suggested that um, this may have been because of a very major collision that happened something like two to three billion years uh, from today. And the simulation that I'm going to show you um, investigated this by using what's known as smooth particle hydrodynamic simulation developed back in the 70s to study various astrophysical problems. And it's often actually used um, in various fields, including ballistics, volcanology, and oceanography. And a lot of these findings are from a scientist by the name of Jacob Kajeris uh, from Durham University. Essentially, what they did for this study is run close to 50 simulations using a supercomputer until they found this one that seems to have corresponded to um, a major collision from an object that was about two to three masses of Earth that created this. And that, in, in a sense, uh, caused the uh, actual rotation of Uranus to flip by about 97 degrees, which actually is what we have in real life as well. And interestingly, if you actually look at the time here, it only took a few hours for uh, Uranus to basically completely stabilize its orbit and to shift uh, in almost entirely by this amount. So here, within about 62 hours, it's back to being stable, um, very planetary, and even have its moons shifted by about 98 degrees. In other words, if we try to recreate this in Universe Sandbox, and if we actually look at Uranus right here, with obviously its moons added as well, um, you'll notice that the moons are also orbiting at the same sort of inclination. And um, all of this can be explained by a relatively major collision with a planet that was about two times mass of Earth. Now, it didn't seem to actually collide where the mass would be added to the total mass of Uranus. As you can see, the vast majority of the planetary mass actually gets expelled. And this suggests that the original mass of Uranus hasn't really changed that much. And so here we can maybe try to recreate this by colliding an object similar to two masses of Earth and actually seeing what would happen uh, to Uranus in, in our simulation if we did the same as what may have happened in real life. So here's a two masses of Earth, Earth, and it's going to pass uh, relatively close to Uranus and we're going to see if it actually shifts it even more in terms of the actual um, 
obliquity, which is the value um, that we're trying to measure here. Obliquity refers to the difference between the actual rotation angle and the actual orbital plane. And so um, this is maybe what have happened here. Here's our Earth approaching Uranus. And let's see if it actually changes the obliquity again. Now, I tried to kind of put it in a position where it might just briefly... Okay, it wasn't really brief. It wasn't supposed to completely collide with Uranus. It was supposed to just briefly pass, just like it did in the simulation. But as you can see here, it did change the orbit and also the obliquity quite dramatically. Although not actually by as much as uh, it did originally. Here it changed by about, um, I think, 12 degrees but it also changed the orbit. So if we now look at the orbit of new Uranus, its orbit actually shifted even beyond the orbit of Neptune. So these collisions um, most likely happened quite a lot in the days of um, early solar system. Uh, and during the so-called late heavy bombardment, we think that pretty much every planet has some sort of a collision. We know that Earth actually may have received a collision which created our moon. We know that Mars received a collision kind of flattening the northern parts. Uh, Venus received a collision uh, changing its rotation as well. And Mercury seems to have received a collision as well. Uh, and also Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune. Uh, we don't really know how it influenced all of these planets, but for Uranus, we have now simulated it using the top of the line su supercomputers. And we think that basically this is kind of how it happened. And this is what led to Uranus becoming such an unusual planet with such an unusual uh, orbital spin, but also uh, with unusual features such as being the coldest planet, the planet with no heat on the inside, and of course, the planet with one of the strangest magnetic field as well. Specifically, a very tilted magnetosphere with a very unusual shape. Now, all of this suggests to us that we need to actually send a mission here, because there's probably going to be a lot of really interesting things we're going to discover. The only mission we've ever actually had that passed by here was back in 1986, when I was basically still a toddler. Uh, the um, Voyager 2 mission actually did visit and took those photos. And every other photo since was actually by a telescope, either by Hubble or CAC telescope or a few other telescopes that have actually taken a very um, unique, but also not super accurate pictures. So we do need to have a mission here to actually try to discover what else we can find around this unusual um, ice giant. Uranus is definitely mysterious, and there's definitely a lot of things we're going to be discovering here in the next few decades. On that note, I wanted to actually finish this here, so now hopefully you know a little bit more about Uranus and its unusual tilt, and how it's acquired it over the past 3 billion years. In one of the next videos, we're actually going to talk about some other planets in our solar system and new discoveries, so do come back if you would like to learn more about space and sciences, and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it does help me quite a lot. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else about space you may have not known before. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.